So I'm going to show you how to thread the head. We're going to pull the wire out. Cut it off up here. Yank it out of there. <clears throat> Put a little bend in it that'll help get it through here you get it through the, this part now on some stitcher heads there's a knurled knob here on this particular <clears throat> on this one there's a screw so if the screws not adjusted properly when you pull the wire down and let go of it <clears throat> See the wire bent this way. So now I'm going to slowly turn the screw counterclockwise. What I'm trying to do is get the wire straight. Or slightly to the right. There we go. So I pull it straight down. Oop. Let go of it. <clears throat> and the wire is bending slightly to the right. Take your wire, pass up this, pass up the grip. Take the end of the wire, put it down through the hole where the cutters are, pull out six inches or so, <clears throat> open this up, push the wire back in there, and then your grip, push it back, open it up and let it in there, <clears throat> make sure that this is on properly, and I can pull this piece of wire out. Now we'll test stitch, which I've already done with this head, quite a few. <clears throat> and we'll just let it run. So I ran all these staples, never dropped one. If this adjustment's out of whack, the wire will kink right here. It'll jam up because it's having trouble getting down into this piece. You know, it's crashing into it. So you want it to you want the wire to be bent just right to get down in there. Okay. To remove the swivel, you can just pull this to the side, take this out. Clean it, make sure it's in good shape, no dirt. Especially make sure on these little magnets here and here, there's no little pieces of wire or dirt built up. If there is, a good thing to use is a, a brass toothbrush or just a plain toothbrush and clean this off. Wipe this down real good. Make sure it's good and clean. The hole in here take a rag and a screwdriver and clean the hole out <clears throat> make sure that that's nice and clean you get yourself some good machine oil put one drop on there wipe it around it make sure it's good and lubricated <clears throat> also put a little lubricant on the the ramp here make sure there's a little lubricant on the driver this piece back here because those two pieces rub against each other put it back together make sure that you can pull it and let it go and it goes back in all by itself it's natural and it goes all the way in if it's getting sticky you have to determine what the problem is and correct it now <clears throat> taking this part off you rotate this and there's a certain spot where this is notched and it'll come off of this little pin 
If you take this part off, same thing, you know, clean it, lubricate it. It can be installed incorrectly. With this, with this down, the head will break. You'll blow up your head. So when you put this back on, make sure this says top on it, the word top. Make sure that's on top. Okay? And this is with your head up, with your head all the way up. Make sure that goes on correctly first. Then when you put this piece on, put it on there, rotate it, there, it popped in. I'll do that again for you. Make sure that's up. It's in the right spot. What we're trying to line up is that little cutout to pop over that little pin. There, popped in. Now it won't come apart. It, it, it locked itself on, but it still pivots real nice. Then put it back in your swivel. Make sure your swivel works. <clears throat> and that should be good to go. Daily lubrication. You put a drop of oil right here. That will go down this groove into this groove and lubricate the head's part sliding up and down. There's another groove on this side. A drop of oil there. Put a drop of oil in this hole. That will lubricate this both these pins. Okay. Occasionally, every couple months, you could put a drop of oil on these rollers to make sure they're spinning free. All right, now I'm going to move this to get this, get this out of the way. <clears throat> Inside this front plate, there's a hole. You want to put a drop of oil back in there on that metal you see in there. A drop here and a drop there. That'll lubricate what's called the driver bar. On the, by the grip, this is the grip. There's a hole here. You put a drop of oil in that hole. That'll lubricate the part that slides. <clears throat> right here's a little groove. Kind of, it's on an angle, slanted. Put a drop of oil in that. That will go down. In fact, here's on this particular head, there's a hole here. You can put oil in that. That'll lubricate the cutters so that the little slicing cutters will work fine and keep cutting the wire with no problem. Over here, it's hard to see with the light, but there's a little ramp right here. Put a drop of oil on that. And then, like we said, make sure your swivel's clean. Put a drop of oil on that. And put a drop of oil on the uh, face of this driver. Just wipe it on there. Uh, let me... Yeah. Right here. So you put a drop of oil right on that and just wipe it on there. Make sure that that's got lubrication. Also, occasionally, you want to do the, I'm sorry about the focus, the ramp on here, right here. Put a little lubricant on there. If you put too much lubricant on the head, it'll make your job dirty. <clears throat> the uh, oil will come out and get all over your books and then you'll have problems with that. Do not lubricate your clincher points. Run them bone dry. This this clincher point, the, the two little points in there, and this slide, whatever style you have on your head. Run those bone dry. S clean them off. Make sure that, that, you know, like these little paper dots that build up here can just f flake off. They'll just fall off of there. And this won't jam up. If you put oil on there, it'll work for about... I don't know, just a little short while, maybe sometimes just a few minutes, but then those little paper dots jam up and cause all this stuff to gum up and just get get messed up. A good thing to have hanging around. You can go to your you can go to your uh, Walmart sporting goods section or or a sporting goods store, and this gun cleaning lube is good stuff or anything like it you can spray that on your heads blow off all the old dirt crap and then it'll, it'll actually clean and lubricate another good thing this gun scrubber is sort of like brake cleaner but it's made for for guns 
and guns have a lot of sliding and moving parts just like a stitcher head i don't i don't use the stuff a lot because i completely disassemble the heads strip them down to little pieces parts and then clean all the parts individually in a ultrasonic tank or solvent tank but in a pinch you know you don't want to take your heads apart because you're working on your machines in the field maybe you just spray out the bad stuff you know let it dry and then go back to running it and lubricate it um, if I think of anything else I'll let you know